Yes, how does your costume help me tell the story? Because uh, we all like it, you know, the show and tell on the first day of rehearsal and uh, we all sit around meet and greet and then we're shown the sketch. Yeah. This is what you're going to look like yeah. and then we all look at the maquette. Oh, that's where we're yeah. going to and... And some, some designers are better at communicating that than others. Um, and sometimes it can be a while before you learn if the set's going to be a problem. You know, sometimes they've got you acting on a very small area and you go, ooh, really? I've just got this space to tell the story, but the stage is this big. Um, and do you, do you, bring you don't those say anything. Up? And you just say, I really hope I'm well lit. <laughs> you don't no. say, look, I think this is oh, no, no, more not, energy. No, here that's here. not my purview. It's not my purview. Why no. Not? Well, I think, I know, I know, I agree. Uh, um, well, because you don't want to be a difficult actor, so you tend to not... I know, oh, you know Fiona Reed, not a difficult actor? Oh, really? Um, <laughs> well, there are ways. Speak up. Aren't you do speak up. I do speak you up do to my peril. I do. Say, look, this... I do. I, I would be the kind to go, oh, look, this is... No, I would, I would say in spite of myself, I would go without any forethought or malice of forethought, I would say, oh gosh, this is a really small area, isn't it? You know, and not realizing I might be insulting but somebody. But don't you feel it's legitimate for an actor to say, you yeah. know, you're putting me in a postage stamp here. Yeah. This, this character has a body. I, t I tell you the only time I've really sort of said, really, was a designer who shall remain nameless, who um, wanted me to look older because I was younger once and she wanted me to appear I guess 20 years older because I was playing well this gives the game away a bit but I was playing Brenda Robin's mother and there's only 12 years difference between us so um, she was dressing me in what felt to me like well no not only did it feel it was upholstery fabric <laughs> because she, and, and so I said is this a, a, this it doesn't feel like this moves at all with me, she said, no, it doesn't, she said, because I want you to appear older, so I don't want it necessarily to move with your body. So I used to joke to people, would you like me to be your sofa? If I lie this way, I could be your sofa, or if I stand up straight, I could be your curtains. Um, I accepted it with humor, not always grace. Um, it made me laugh, but, uh, uh, so, so yeah, you're saying I you question. want to be a participant in the process. I, I think in costume fittings, I'm a real participant to the point that I had to go, shut up. She's talking right now about the seam allowance with the cutter, and you have to shut up right now. And or I, I have to, I have to be really careful about. We're working on that. That decision hasn't been made, um, because I'm I, because I'm 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 I can drive people to go. What has that been fixed yet? And they'll go, Fiona. You only brought this up yesterday. We're still working on it. So, yeah, I've, I've learned. That's one of the things I've learned. I don't always have to have an opinion, and but wait a I minute. keep something to myself. You are doing costume fitting early in costume fitting early in the rehearsal process. Mm. You are in the process of discovering this character with the director, mm. and yet you go to the fitting and they say, "Well, we've decided." This is what you're going to be. And I go, wait a minute, I haven't decided yet. We haven't, we haven't found our way there yet. Yeah, good luck at Stratford with that, where you have your fitting, you know. We've made these, these, these decisions.